This is Mike from TavariOutpost.com. In this session of Photoshop Tips for Comic Book Art, I'm going to show you how to use the Radio Gradient tool to add some interesting effects to your comic book pages. Let's bring up a final inked black and white comic book page. Now looking over this page, this round planet here looks like it'd be perfect for a radial gradient. In an earlier video, I showed you how to separate your black lines from your white background because it's a good idea to work in between these layers. Let's add a new layer and call it Planet Gradient. Let's zoom in here. The next thing we want to do is define the area where the gradient is going to go. I'm going to select my rectangular marquee tool, make sure I have Add to Selection checked and just start selecting the area where the gradient will go. I can grab my polygonal lasso with Add to Selection checked to finish off the areas that are not shaped like a square. It's okay if you go away from the lines, especially in this dark area, because, because we're underneath the black lines layer. It won't show up because it's underneath and covered. And then finally this region here. Double click to close. Now again, even though I went past the line of the planet here, uh, this is underneath, so the gradient won't, sh won't show. Okay, so on my planet gradient layer, the next thing I want to do is select the gradient tool from my tool palette. Make sure it's selected to foreground to transparent. And let's select radial gradient. Now, radial gradient basically makes a hot spot, and it has a gradient that goes outward in 360 degrees. If the reverse button is checked, the center will be the hot spot, and it'll be light. If the reverse button's unchecked, it'll be dark in the center, and it'll get lighter as you go away. So I want it the other way. I want to have it light in the middle and darker as we go away from it. I'm going to pick a point and then drag a line outward. So that starting point will be the hot spot. When I let go of the left button of my mouse, the gradient fills in. Select Marquee and hit Escape to remove the marquee. Now I can lighten that a bit. If it's too dark around the edges, I can lighten that by going to my opacity meter here and slide the lever. 90 looks about good, about right. So that's how you put a radial gradient on your black and white comic book page. Thank you for watching this comic book Photoshop tutorial. For information on my ebook, How to Create and Publish Your Own Comic Book, or information on Spectre Comics, or more Photoshop comic book video tips, visit tabarioutpost.com.